Hello everyone. Today in the Jiu Jitsu Battles Tokyo Saga tier list video, we will discuss their list as well as all the characters and guides. As we all know, this game has recently been released, and whether you are a beginner or a pro, you will need a suitable level list to gain an advantage in the game. So, let's not waste any more time. Let's get into it. 1. Introduction to Jiu Jitsu Battles Tokyo Saga. Here, in Jiu Jitsu Battles Tokyo Saga, is a brand new mobile strategy game released by Ligamil. It is also known as Jiu Jitsu Legends Phantom Siege and was released on iOS. Here, you can do a number of things, from engaging in exciting high speed battles to using strategic tactics employing various Jiu Jitsu techniques to defeat enemies. Various modes, here we have options for various modes such as multiple combat modes, solo challenges, as well as team battles and competitions. Characters, this game features all the famous characters from the anime such as Kamiya, dragons, pandas, etc. You can not only collect them but also form the strongest team and fight with them. 2. Tier List of Jiu Jitsu Battles Tokyo Saga after playing for several days, we have created a tier list for Jiu Jitsu Battles Tokyo Saga, with all the characters currently in the game. We have crafted this tier list for new players, those who can easily focus on the campaign mode. The tier is divided into 5 types, which are Grade D, C, B, A, S, and SS, remember, here D stands for the lowest rank and SS is the highest rank, and I only rank from SSR characters and above because characters SR and below are not really strong, and obtaining SSR characters is also quite easy. Now let's take a look at our tier list. I'll rank Miwa Kasumi, Must Die, and Panda in tier D because they are indeed quite weak compared to their roles. For example, Panda's role as a tanker is hindered by having only damage reduction skills without abilities like HP regeneration, shielding, or spell resistance. Overall, he is relatively easy to defeat. Miwa Kasumi, as a fighter, only focuses damage on one target and lacks defensive abilities. Must Die, also a tanker, lacks damage reduction abilities and only has a 30% chance to stun, which isn't very high, because there are too many characters in tiers C and B, I can't go through each one individually. So, I'll just list them. But if you'd like to learn more about each character, please comment below, and I'll make separate videos for each character. In tier C, we have, Junpei Yoshino, Nobara Kujisaki, Mai Zenin, Inumaki Toge, Juzo Kamiya, Zenin Naoya, Ultimate Makamaru, Miguel, Awasaka Jiro, Reggie Star, Hazanoki Inori, Dagon, Ryaman Sukuna, in tier B, Momo Nishimiya, Rita Orimoto, Takuma Ino, Isu, Maki Zenin, Ishinobu Gakaganji, Mazumichi Yaga, Noritoshi Kumo, Megumi Fushiguro, Kento Nanami, Nabito Zenin, Hanami. Tier A, Arida Nida, Kyuzuke Batsuya, Satoru Gojo, Aoi Tadu, Choso, Yuta Okatsu, Arida Nida deserves to be promoted to Tier S because of her ability to revive one teammate and heal all teammates. However, since there are already many characters with healing abilities there, I decided not to promote her because I'm afraid people will accuse me of favoring healing characters too much, so I decided to leave her in tier A. Kyuzuke Batsuya is a fighter with the ability to both reduce and increase damage while being immune to control effects, Satoru Gojo excels in dealing damage based on a percentage of the enemy's HP, making him very potent, Aoi Tadu is a demon in terms of tanking, almost guaranteeing enemy bleeding, boosting critical damage, and self-healing. Choso's skills may seem straightforward, but his ability to steal attacks means he can increase his own attack while reducing the enemies. Additionally, his third skill, which inflicts curse and confusion, is particularly strong. Confusion causes enemies to attack both allies and enemies. Yuta Okatsu is a UR in the game, but I place him in this tier because compared to other UR characters, he isn't exceptionally strong. Tier S, Ayori Yudaheim, 
Kurushu Hana, Shoko Yeri, Mei Mei, Toji Fushiguro, I place Ayori Yudaheim in this tier for a reason, she heals a lot for allies, ensuring the team's survival. She excels in the support role, increasing critical damage and defense for teammates. Kurushu Hana is also a supporter who aids in healing, dispelling all debuffs, and buffing damage reduction for allies. Shoko Yeri is particularly special among the two aforementioned supporters because she can revive a teammate. If there's no one to revive, she heals the ally with the lowest HP, which, by my calculations, is about 72,000 HP, nearly 50% of a character's HP. Mei Mei stands out with her ability to counter characters who heal or revive. In a strong team, there's always someone healing or reviving, making Mei Mei crucial for future teams. Toji Fushiguro, a remarkably strong fighter, focuses solely on himself and deals damage to the weakest enemies, swiftly eliminating the enemy's numbers. Tier SS, Kensuo, Mahito. Mahito is placed in this tier because she is an extremely versatile supporter. She can heal, curse enemies, swap damage, and apply various other effects like reducing the enemy's attack, which increases the team's survivability. Kensuo is an extremely powerful mage, capable of inflicting various effects on enemies and dealing a tremendous amount of damage. He primarily focuses on targeting enemies with the lowest HP and dealing damage based on the highest percent of HP, making him an excellent character for both boss battles and PvP encounters. I've completed this tier list based solely on my understanding of these skills. There are many heroes I haven't had the chance to experience yet, so this tier list may change over time. Therefore, please subscribe to the channel to wait for the new tier list and look forward to videos about Jujutsu Battles Tokyo Saga and Jujutsu Legends Phantom Siege on iOS. Thank you, everyone.